Here's the Galaxy Tab Active 4 Pro. I'm going to show you how to set this up step by step. The first thing is make sure that you have your battery in here, okay? There's an external battery that comes out of here. You can see that little groove right there. Put your fingernail in there, kind of pop it up a little bit. And now you can just go ahead and take this whole case off. There's the battery, pop that battery in there, and then you can pop that back plate back on and just snap everything back into place. And then once you press and hold the power button, it'll boot up and you should be at this welcome screen, okay? So from here, first thing is go ahead and choose your language. I'm good with English, I'm gonna tap on Start. Now this model here has the, uh, the SIM card I can insert as well. If you have the SIM model, you can go ahead and insert your SIM card now, or you can do the setup and do the SIM card later. I'm going to go ahead and do the SIM card after the setup is done in another video. The link will be in the description below. For your review, now the first two you have to select in order to continue, okay? But I'm fine with all of them. I can go ahead and agree to all, even the optional. That's fine with me. I'm going to tap on Agree down there. I'm going to go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi network now. You can always skip and do it later, but I'm going to go ahead and do it now so I can get that latest software update. So let me put in my password to my Wi-Fi. After you put in your password, tap on Connect. Checking for updates. This may take a few minutes. Don't forget, you guys have this extra outer case on that you can go ahead and pop on there as well. All right. So it says here, copy apps and data. You can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google account, your Gmail, and more, okay? So if you wanna do that, you can tap on next here, and you will need an old device, another Android device, tablet, iPhone, iPad, and so on, okay? But for myself, I'm, not, I'm gonna make this a fresh, clean copy, so I'm gonna click the back button down here. What I'm gonna do is just click on don't copy. I wanna fresh install on this tab asking to put in my Gmail, you can do this now, or you can skip, you can do it later, okay? So for me, I'm just gonna skip it, I'm gonna do it later. I don't rem even remember my password. Google services, now uh, use location, allow scanning, uh, send usage and diagnostic data. These are all optional, okay? So you can uh, enable or disable them, okay? I'm fine with all these enabled, that's fine for me. I'm gonna tap on accept. Protect your tablet, basically a password. You can skip this and do it later, but I would recommend do something now, put some kind of password in there. And for myself, I'm just gonna do fingerprints here. So I'm gonna tap on fingerprints, and then I'm gonna tap on continue. And now we have to choose between pattern, pin, and uh, password, okay? So basically this is for, uh, maybe you don't wanna use your thumbprint, or maybe it's not working, then you always have the option of using the other um, password, okay? So I'm just gonna do a, a pin here, like a simple, should be like a four digit pin. Let me go ahead and choose one. So I just put it in, let me tap on next. Let me go ahead and reconfirm one more time. And I'm gonna tap on okay right there. So now you can see this middle button down here. That's the fingerprint sensor down here. Okay, so let's just put a finger on it, up, down, up, and just keep on going till it fills up all green till it's 100%, okay? Kind of change the positions of your thumb or whatever finger you want on there. Just keep going. Keep on going. Wow, that was super fast. And now it says reposition your finger each time to catch the edges of your fingerprint. So I'm gonna tap on continue and now I'm kinda of gonna go on the edge of my thumb here. Keep on going here around the edges. There we go. And from here you can go ahead and add another fingerprint or whatnot or you can always add another fingerprint later. Okay, I'm good with just a thumb for now. Let me go ahead and tap on next. Review additional apps. You can go ahead and read through these. You know, you can uncheck it, check it, whatever. Like I, I don't need that. I don't need that, I don't need that, I don't need that. Actually, I'll keep that one right there, and I'm gonna clap, tap on OK for myself. Samsung account, you can go ahead and sign in, or you can create an account, or you can skip and sign in later, or you can skip and just never sign in, okay? Samsung services, now these are all optional too, okay? So it, it's up to you, it's a preference. For me, I'm fine with all three of them enabled. I'm gonna tap on Agree. You're all set up. Let's tap on finish right there. And voila, we are in business. Now, if you wanna know how to insert the uh, SIM card, if you have that model, look in the description below. I'm gonna go ahead and do that video next.